Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by Her Excellency Ambassador Wafei Basim, the former Assistant Foreign Minister. A very good afternoon to you, Madam Ambassador. Good afternoon and uh, uh, best days of uh, celebration for all the Egyptian people. Indeed. Thank you very much, Madam Ambassador, for joining us. First and foremost, ma'am, let me ask you, what is the importance of the election of Egypt to the Executive Council uh, of the <coughs> UN Women for the period of 2022 till 25? Well, being on, being on the Executive Council mm. uh, of uh, one of the, uh, the only uh, <coughs> one organization concerned, mm -hmm. UN organization, concerned solely mm -hmm. with the issues of women, their empowerment, their welfare, um, permits, being on this executive council, permits, of course, to uh, participate in the decision-making process yes. concerning the resolutions or decisions or projects or um, initiatives, mm -hmm. whatever of these uh, activities that uh, will be uh, launched uh, concerning women, women's issues, women's aspirations, uh, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So right. being on the Executive Council permits you to be on that decision-making board mm -hmm. um, and to be um, uh, able to include in the agenda of the organization mm -hmm. all over the world <clears throat> the concerns that we consider important uh, for women in developing uh, countries, but also uh, in African countries mm -hmm. since we have been elected yes. uh, there, we have joined this membership as representatives of the African uh, group. Continent, Let's yes. not forget that uh, being a member of the Executive Council of the UN uh, Women comes also in parallel with the uh, selection of Egypt mm -hmm. as a member of the committee yes. uh, on the status of women mm -hmm. uh, and it's um, uh, for the period of 2022 to 2026. Yes. Yes. So, uh, being uh, a part, uh, an active part, and not only uh, just uh, having a bureau or a regional office, mm. being a part of the decision-making uh, bodies and course of uh, these two uh, uh, institutions mm -hmm. permits a better coordination mm -hmm. between the issues we are facing in the uh, Committee on the Status of Women, mm -hmm. which every year has a theme, yes. like women empowerment, mm -hmm. women in leadership, yes. um, rural women, mm. uh, political participation, mm -hmm. to see how is the status of women, and on the other hand, in the Executive Council, you can see what kind of plans and projects yes. you can conduct in mm -hmm. order to cater mm -hmm. for what you have found as shortcomings in the status of women or even to capitalize on the positive mm -hmm. achievements also in the community of status um, Indeed. Madam Ambassador, you touched on a very important issue, which is the... Hello? Yes, madam, can you hear us? Can you please raise the voice? Yes, ma'am. You touched on an important issue related to women empowerment. Uh, Egypt has come a long way in this regard. Tell us a bit about the achievements of Egypt in this regard. I'm sorry, I can't hear you at all. Right, madam ambassador. Can you hear us now, ma'am? Hello? Right. Apologies, Madam Ambassador. Yes, good. Yes. Can you repeat the question? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I was asking you about the achievements of uh, uh, Egyptian women over the last few years, the empowerment uh, of Egyptian women. We've come a long way in this regard, whether it's politically, economically, or socially. Could you uh, brief us a bit about uh, the stance that Egyptian women 
uh, has reached over the last few years under the political leadership? Uh, of course, after the setbacks that we have had uh, during the years uh, 2011, 12, mm -hmm. and 16, yes. uh, definitely there is uh, a big change and a big progress mm -hmm. that has been achieved during the uh, last few years, uh, almost the last eight years. And it, uh, it was not an easy way yes. because you had, I mean, the, the leadership, the Egyptian leadership, mm. uh, um, who was willing uh, very clearly yes. to look into the status of women mm. and who had great respect mm. and belief and faith in what women can achieve. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can find this in every intervention of the president in D.C. when it comes to development, um, uh, social welfare, yes. health, when you for, uh, education, uh, empowerment, economic empowerment, um, when you look into, uh, into, these, uh, into what we say, in all these occasions mm. you will find that women are always Egyptian women are always there. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he even launched a year that was allocated to Egyptian uh, women yes. in all the aspects, uh, working women, educational and statute, rural women, mm -hmm. uh, health, women in health. Uh, it was women in political participation. Mm -hmm. We had one, we have never reached this high rate of membership of women in uh, parliament with the two chambers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the highest rate of women ever uh, in the history of Egypt when it comes to the executive body, and I mean by this, the uh, council of ministers. Mm -hmm. And they do have important vital portfolios as far as the uh, country and the future of the country is concerned, mm. women are present and very strongly as well in the uh, banking sector. Yes. You have uh, a deputy uh, governor uh, for, uh, for the Central Bank of Egypt mm -hmm. and his main very prominent women bankers uh, all over, whether governmental banks, banks or uh, uh, private bank uh, in uh, the sector of higher education. Women are the key in education for young people, yes. and that is the maker of the next uh, generation. Absolutely. Uh, that the city also loans uh, women health or health for women in Egypt, whether as far as uh, non uh, um, communicative diseases or as far as cancer and other kinds of tumors are concerned, especially those who are attacking uh, women uh, in the first place. Mm -hmm. Right, absolutely. Uh, right, I'd like to thank you very, very much, Madam Ambassador Wafet Basim, the former Assistant Foreign Minister. Thank you so much, ma'am for joining us and for your insights on today's edition of Cairo Local Time. And uh, we continue with more news moving to uh, the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, which has completed equipping the airport museums in passenger halls two and three. Uh, a date for the official inauguration will be set soon. Now the museum exhibition scenario has been implemented in both the 